It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 17th of November. I'm James Spann. One more unseasonably mild day today. We're expecting highs up in the 70s. Then colder air begins to roll in tomorrow, along with a chance of some rain at times. Here's the upper air look across the country early this morning. It is a zonal flow. And again, we'll expect a lot of sunshine today with highs up in the 70 to 75 degree range after starting off the day in the 40s and 50s. Those are temperatures early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. Birmingham starting off the day at 54. There's the watch warning map across the country. Awfully quiet. Some wind issues for the Dakotas. Maybe some thunder west of the state today. No severe weather expected. Tomorrow, pockets of thunderstorm activity expected across the Gulf Coast, South Florida, the Atlantic Coast, but again, no severe storms. And day three, Friday, maybe some thunder for the southern tip of Florida. Rain for the next seven days. We'll have a couple of opportunities here in Alabama, one tomorrow, another one Sunday night and early Monday. Rain amounts will be generally one half inch or less for most of the state between now and Wednesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. Got a southwest flow aloft and again a very mild day today. Many spots up in the middle 70s this afternoon. That's 10 degrees above average. The sky partly to mostly sunny, but a cold front is north and west of the state. And tomorrow the front comes in here with clouds and the chance of a few rain showers. Nothing especially heavy. Moisture should be limited. And temperatures will likely go the wrong way tomorrow for many spots. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and you can see that front right at the northwestern corner of the state. We'll start the day in the upper 50s and low 60s, but by noon, temperatures will likely fall into the 40s for areas north and west of Birmingham. Uh, you can see the uh, high-res NAM suggesting Birmingham at 64 at noon, but places like Haleyville and Hamilton only in the middle 40s, a 20-degree swing. And then by 4 o'clock, the cold air reaches Birmingham with temperatures falling into the 40s. So, again, just be aware for the northern half of the state, temperatures tomorrow will be falling during the day. And again, with clouds and a chance of some rain. And then Friday will be a sunny day with a cold morning. We'll start the day around freezing. The high Friday will be in the mid to upper 50s, but the sky will be sunny. Saturday, a nice day. Sunny, we again start the day in the 30s. The high Saturday will be in the 60s. Great day for the college football games across the Deep South. Sunday, here comes the next front. The day Sunday should be dry with highs in the 60s. But the rain will likely move in Sunday night. This is Sunday night at midnight. Again, moisture limited, uh, no severe weather, uh, rain not all that heavy. And then Monday, a pretty good pop of cold air comes in here. Look at those low thickness values over the northern part of the state. Parts of North Alabama could stay in the 40s all day Monday with a brisk north wind. Uh, the sky clearing, becoming sunny. Tuesday, uh, we could be in the 20s over much of North Alabama. A very cold morning. Uh, the high Tuesday around 50. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 24th, Thanksgiving Eve, busiest travel day of the year. A zonal flow in much of the country with very, very quiet weather. The one issue could be a nor'easter uh, off the New England coast with uh, snow up there, so just be aware of that. That might affect New York City and Boston, uh, but again, this is a week out that could change. But for the rest of the country, it looks awfully quiet. Thanksgiving Day, evidence a little light rain could develop over the state. We'll mention that in the forecast, uh, but it doesn't look like a big rain event. And this is uh, Friday of next week, Black Friday the 26th, troughing over Texas. And again, evidence there could be a little light rain, so possibly some uh, light rain at times. Thanksgiving Day and Friday of next week. Here's a look at uh, the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between one and a half and two inches, but a pretty big spread in the ensemble members out there uh, around the 1st of December representing uncertainty. Temperatures, the 70s are gone after today. You can see that pretty good pop of colder air coming in here next week. Temperatures should be below average Thanksgiving week. In fact, this is the CPC outlook for the 24th. Through the 30th, we're in the blue, which means temperatures here below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. 
It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared, get your kids a copy today.